With the help of new and developing technology, scientists are exploring new regions and finding new creatures under the sea every year. In the deep sea, there are many unknown and unseen sea creatures that have yet to be discovered. Many of the newly discovered deep sea creatures look scary, creepy, and strange. In this video, I have compiled a list of interesting creatures discovered in the deep sea. Terrible Claw Lobster Named Dinocolis ossibili for its terrible or fearful dinos in Greek claws chela, this new species of blind lobster joins a very small list of cousins in the genus Thomistocolopsis. Only four other individuals in two species had been found previously both in Australia. Scientists collected the specimen during the Aurora mission in 2007, led by the U.S. and French Natural History Museums and the Philippines Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. That second part of its name, Ausubili, is also significant. It's in honor of Jesse Ausubel, a co-founder of the Census of Marine Life. Pycnogonid sea spider. Found in the Antarctic, this male pycnogonid spider, or a distant relative of a spider, anyway, bears its own eggs. It has virtually no abdomen, yet has a leg span of about 25 centimeters, which means it's about on par, size-wise, with some of the largest spiders on land, like the Goliath bird-eating tarantula of South America. Why Margin Stargazer? Perhaps the only other fish that could contend with the blobfish for the ugliest creature in the sea, the Y-margin stargazer is a real tough guy that uses double-grooved poison spines above its pectoral fins to sting prey. As if that weren't enough, the stargazer also has electrical organs contained in a special pouch behind its eyes that allow it to sting prey with up to 50 volts. As for its name, the stargazer spends most of its time burrowed in the sand with only its eyes protruding up to toward the surface. The Dumbo Octopus This Grimpetuthus octopus, found over the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, is affectionately called Dumbo because of the way it flaps its ear-like fins to swim. Dumbo octopuses are known to be the deepest dwelling of the octopuses as they live at depths of at least 4,000 meters, but often even deeper than that. Because these octopuses are naturally rare, they've developed unique breeding habits to increase the chances of producing offspring. For example, the females carry eggs at various stages of development and can even store sperm inside their bodies for long periods of time after mating. Arctic Hydromedusa This Hydromedusa bathycaris bullioni is common in the deep waters of the Arctic, about 3,300 feet deep. The broader family of Hydromedusae are so common, in fact, that they compose the largest group of cnidarians in the sea. Coming in at just a few millimeters to a few centimeters at absolute maximum size, though they're far smaller than your typical jellies. But what really sets them apart from the jellyfish is their reproductive system. Hydromedusae produce both sperm and eggs outside of the body underneath their squishy bell. Obese dragonfish. Hey, that's not nice. But in all seriousness, the obese dragonfish surely won't take offense to its name. After all, there's no shame in being one of the largest species in the family Melanostomidae. In fact, it's actually pretty badass. According to the Australian Museum, these deepwater dwellers feature a smooth, scaleless black body, boast a full set of large fong-like teeth, plus a long chin barbel and a series of light-producing photophores along the body and behind both eyes. For the most part, these guys stick to the waters around Australia, but can also be found in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. Red Spotted Blenny These algae-munching fish are mostly known to be peaceful, but when it comes to other members of their species, or at least those who aren't their own mates, the red-spotted blenny can be hostile, especially if kept in a tank. Just like tanks, they sometimes bite or full-on attack other nearby red-spotted blenny fish. They even take nibbles at corals and clams at times. Their native habitats are along coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Japanese Spider Crabs These giant crabs are, as their name indicates, native to Japan and are considered delicacies throughout the country. These guys can grow to be up to 12 feet long and they are not picky eaters. In fact, the Japanese spider crab is believed to favor eating the bodies of other marine animals because it means they don't have to kill anything themselves. Squirrelfish 
The squirrel fish can only reach a max length of about two feet, but this creature packs some serious punch in its relatively small frame. Mostly nocturnal, these fish live at depths of between 100 and 600 feet below the surface, where they scan the sandy sea floor and grass beds for prey. The coolest thing about them? They can actually use their swim bladder to produce sounds for communication between other squirrel fish. Porcupine fish. Similar to their cousin, the puffer fish, the porcupine fish is covered in strong spines and has the ability to swallow up water to puff up its body into an orb when threatened. This is helpful because it's pretty much impossible for predators to swallow a porcupine fish in full-on balloon mode. Even if a predator does manage to swallow it before it has the chance to puff up, it's still poisonous to most fish, meaning it's not a very good snack. Mimic octopus. Found in the Indo-Pacific, the mimic octopus is not only known for its ability to use chromatophores to blend in with the surroundings, but also its skill in impersonating a number of other marine animals, hence the name. Among the animals it mimics to defend itself from predators are the lionfish, sea snake, jellyfish, and zebra sole. Other times, the mimic octopus uses its shape-shifting abilities to approach prey, sometimes even appearing as a crab's intended mate before chowing down. Thornback cowfish Technically a kind of boxfish, this guy has horns at the top of his head, but doesn't use them to bully others. However, in stressful environments, or if it dies, the thornback cowfish can become toxic. Lysianasoid amphipod One of many new amphipods discovered by the marine census of life, this Lysianasoid amphipod inhabits the waters near Elephant Island in the Antarctic. Like other tiny crustaceans, amphipods, aka sea fleas, are a big source of food for larger creatures of the deep. Sea pen. The orange sea pen, Tilosarcus gurnii, is actually a colony of animals that can withdraw into the soft sediment where it's found. Generally speaking, there are over 300 species of sea pens named for their quill-like appearance. With stimulation, they glow with a green light. Black Swallower The Black Swallower fish has the ability to swallow prey much larger than itself thanks to the extended gut attached to its belly. This adaptation is especially useful since Black Swallowers live in the deep and food can be scarce to come by in the abysmal depths of the sea. We have come to the end of the video. I ask you to please like and comment on the video. This video took six hours to research and make. Since we are a new channel, I need your help to stand out on YouTube. I hope you have a good day. See you soon.